It's day five of Lucky 10 week. Lucky 10 kill week here on the channel. Oh yeah. Yeah, have you watched all the other ones? Or have you just tuned in for the first time? Well, doesn't matter. Let's watch this one. This one's good enough to watch on its own. But there's more. There's more. If you if you want to watch more, it's it was all week that we were doing this. Uh, Fuck you! Uh, but, uh... All right, let, let's just watch. It's more to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've had a great week so far. We've watched some great games. Ten kills every time. Lucky ten week. Uh, I just call it Lucky Ten Week. That's a good name. But look at this. Uh, well, what is this thing? It's not Russian. It's Old Fart in the SU-76 GTFT foot. And it's Chinese. Because the one thing I decided was that we would show no Russian tanks. All week. It's been great. And each game has been fantastic. If you guys have had a chance, I don't know if you've had the chance. Uh, well, let me just, uh, I know the, the viewers that have been watching all week, uh, you've probably heard it before, but every uh, day this week we've watched a great game where the uh, we've seen 10 kill performances. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And today is Friday. Well, it's not Friday today if you're watching like three weeks later, but when I recorded it. And uh, this is the last one. And there's a voting button in the top right corner of the screen. And you can vote on which game you thought was the best or which one you enjoyed the most or, you know, all that kind of stuff. You get to vote today. We've only got one more to watch. Uh, fittingly, we're ending it with an old fart. Old fart. Right on. And uh, he's in a TD. And he's going to start by camping bush. Because that's what TDs do. But he's a smart TD camping bush. Because he knows... Uh, how to use bushes. He's knocked down these little trees to make some cover. And yes, knock down trees do provide cover now. And watch, he's going to back up till the bush is bushy. Or the trees, you see? I don't use words like opaque and clear. Look, it's bushy. It looks bushy. Which means they retain their camel. And he is not spotted as he kills that guy. You see that? See how he backed up? And now he's going to, well, he's, he's staying there, stealth. The bushes are bushy, so he can shoot, and they don't see him, even though they're so close. That's just how it works, and he's just using this mechanic to perfection, and he's trying. The one thing that happens, though, when the bushes are bushy, is you don't see the whole tank and the terrain sometimes. You just see the outline. See the enemy? He sees the outline, but he doesn't necessarily see exactly whether the guy's behind cover he just sees the outline, so he's got to estimate his shots. See, he sees the guy, but he does not see the, the ground that he just hit. That's not a ghost shell. It hit the ground. See, because, yeah, he got him. Because the bushes are bushy, and they're, they're providing camouflage for him, and he's just going to town here. Look at this. He's just doing a great job. Now he hit the ground. See, he's backed up right as, as far back as he could. 15 meters is the magic number. If you back up. The bushes become bushy, which means they retain their camouflage even when you fire your gun. Now he's moved up, and he's moved into the bushes there. He's going to readjust. Watch this. He's going to go into them. So now when he goes into sniper mode, they're clear. See, the bushes are clear. That means he's in them. If he fires his gun now, all the bushes that are clear within 15 meters of him will lose their camouflage value. So if he had shot those enemies while he was in the bushes here that everything you've seen up till now if he had taken the shots from where he is right now he would have been spotted and he'd be dead but all the shots he took just by backing up those 15 meters uh, he remained undetected now that time he was not spotted because i think that guy was just too far away but the bushes were clear he could have been spotted and i watch this shot <laughs> and he's up to four kills or six or whatever i've lost track but now now, did he get spotted? He's in the bushes. I'm. Sh he must have got spotted that time. Did he get spotted? I guess he didn't get... How the hell did he not get spotted that time? Because the game's broken? I don't know. But th that's how it's supposed to work. You have to back up <laughs> for the bushes to retain their camel. Anyway, now he does not see an outline of an enemy, but he knows that he's there. This happens sometimes too. 
See, the enemy is right there. His outline doesn't show up because there's a little brick wall there. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> sucks to be him. <laughs> so, we're learning something. We're seeing this masterful performance by the old fart, who's obviously played for a while. Uh, and he knows what he's doing. I guess he's grinding down the Chinese TD line. But he's not a beginner. He's got a good crew. He's got a camel net and binox. He's equipped this thing properly. And he knows how to use the bushes. But now, the time has come for him to move. And there are still lots of enemies. There are seven enemies left. So we're not just going to witness him kept bush whole game. Did I just say kept bush whole game? <laughs> Can't push the whole game. He's actually going to move around. He's he's moving to the other side of the map. Why is he doing that? I guess he sees his uh, teammate up there. We cannot see yet. It's out of render range. The guy up on the hill is... I guess he's thinking that that guy could spot someone. And uh, this is a much more dangerous spot to defend from than where he was. But he's moved here. And he could move. He's got a Matilda. And he's got that, uh, whatever it is, the P. Is that an Italian tank? Oh, and his teammate has just taken someone out. Uh, he's got to get He's got to get closer there. There's an enemy. Uh, oh, and now his teammate has taken. There's only three of his team left. And there are still five enemies. Uh-oh. So he's going to, okay, there's another bush here. I did not know. I, I did not know about this spot right here with the bush and that big rock. This is not a bad spot to defend from unless they come from the north on that ridge line and then you're just you're you're in the low ground and there's nowhere for you to run. But I guess he figures most of the enemies are coming from this direction now. And it's a gamble that uh, it I think it's going to pay off. Of course it's going to pay off cuz you already know he's going to get 10 kills. But how does he do it? What is this Matilda doing? Yeah, it's Anyway, oh, there is a player there. Is he going to back up to make the bush bushy? Well, there's bushes in the way. He's taking that shot, and now he's backing him. He's still not detected. He's still not detected, and now he's detected. He does have six cents. This is the first time he's been detected. The, oh, and the Hetzer missed. Or what is that? The, yeah, that's a Hetzer. Uh, he would have been one shot by HE by that guy if he had the derp gun, because this thing has very little armor. And he's doing the dipsy-doodling now to avoid artillery fire. This guy knows what he's doing. He's got experience. And, well, he's, and he's survived. Oh, there's an artillery. And he's spotted again. This is not good. Who has spotted him? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, it's that Italian tank, the Tier 4, with the huge howitzer. Well, not the huge howitzer. With the huge HE round, which Tier for Tier has the best... Uh, damage HE round in the game, but of course he's shooting AP. <laughs> because why would he load HE in a tank that has the best HE round tier for tier of any tank in the game, including the Type 5 Tier 10 F. This Tier 4, is he going to shoot him again? Let's see if he's loaded an HE shell. He can one-shot almost every Tier 3, 4, and some 5. There he is! Has he loaded an HE round? Has he loaded an HE round? Uh... No, he's loaded an AP round because, you know, why wouldn't he? <laughs> because when you're at tier 4 and you don't you don't know these things. Do I got the tanks right? Did I screw that up? Let me know in the comments. I might have got it all screwed up. But I think that's that Italian tank that gets the, you know, 70 whatever pen and tons of damage. He would have one shot this guy with his HE round. But uh, he did not load HE. And now there's two enemies left. And he does not have very much more HP. And he's heading towards his buddy in the Matilda. 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 Yeah, take the money and go to Venezuela. Or something like that. I'm not getting bored. Just, you know, interjected a little interjectedness. Some uh, tomfoolery to... Lighten things up. It's tense here. It's tense. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see how the game mechanics work here. His, his binocs are engaged so he can see this guy while he's still. But now that the guy is moving, he disappears. That's how the game mechanics work. Because there are no disappearing tanks in this game. But he's got him. Because he reappeared. He only disappeared for a few seconds. The game's not broken. <laughs> here he goes. 
Can he get the last kill? Or is his, uh, is Matilda buddy, who hasn't moved the whole game, going to get it? Or is the artillery, is that pesky birch gun going to get it? I hope the old fart gets it. Come on, old fart, we're rooting for you. Or if you're watching from Australia, he's not really rooting. You know, like, rooting means something different in Australia, those dirty buggers. But we're cheering for you. Uh, oh, there's the artillery. Aim. Don't let your teammates steal the kill. Make sure you hit that he's got it. Ten kills! Oh, yeah! That was... Look at that. Spinorama! Woohoo! <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Look at this. Why does he only get... Where's his pools medal? Didn't he get ten kills? He doesn't have the medal. Did he do some team damage or something? He's got ten kills. Oh, he's not high enough tier. Forget the I don't know. Whatever. But what a week. What a week, guys. The fun we had. You get to vote now. Uh, Monday, we watched the Skoda T40. Di Kirito. Uh, from the DK49 clan. Excellent game he had. And then we watched Helvenator in the Progetto get 10 kills. Fantastic game by Helvenator. And then on the third day, we saw Tank You Much in his T29. Just kick ass! And get 10 kills in an American tank. No Russian tanks allowed. And then yesterday we saw Hobo One Kenobi from the anti clan in his M44 in an SPG. Get 10 kills. Can you believe it? And now the old fart. He got his 10 kills. Five games, 50 kills, and no fucking Russian tanks. Yeah. You guys vote. There's a voting button in the top right corner of the screen. Click it and pick. The one you enjoyed the most. The best game. Whichever one you want to vote for. Lucky 10 Kill Week on Klaus's channel is officially come to its conclusion. And I will recap and talk about the results in an upcoming video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, it was fun to do. And leave some comments. And shout out to all of the subscribers that sent in the replays. Thanks, guys. And, uh, hey, it's Friday! Thank God it's Friday! And enjoy your weekend! Whoa!